The new McCracken County High School held its first day of class last week. And when we last visited the school, it was still under construction. But when we returned, we were greeted with a state-of-the-art educational facility. Last February, Sarah Clark visited the high school as it was under construction. Now, almost a year and a half later, we visited the high school again as the ribbon cutting ceremony took place and preparations for the incoming students were underway. It, it was a lot of just planning, getting ideas, putting curriculum together, um, uh, starting to get people in place. Now it's all the details. Now we're, we're, we're a couple of weeks away and it's, it's making sure everybody has the resources they need making sure that the building is, is clean and, 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 and everything is, is put where it needs to be. So we started out in the early, um, a year ago, looking at big, big picture type things, and now it's down to the really minute things. Principal Michael Siglinski has had his hands full with ensuring that everything is put into place for when school is back in session. So one of the things is, is we've hired some new folks coming in. We say, hey, look, everybody's at ground zero. You know, there's, there's folks that may not know everybody well. And so this is the great time to get in on this school and start building those relationships. Um, for the most part, our folks across the county have worked together beautifully and they've, they've been together for years. I think what we're coming into is this, even for the adults that are working here, this is a really exciting time to have a brand new classroom, to, to maybe have a, a, a brand new set of resources and just kind of new life. I think the challenge is going to be is maintaining that. Getting six weeks into the school year when you get into that, that everyday grind is really keeping that spark, that magic, that passion that we want to have in this school. That, that's going to be the biggest challenge. A lot of the faculty and staff of the new high school have had tenures at three former county schools, all of which McCracken County High School will now replace. Principal Siglinski and Superintendent Nancy Waldrop admitted that helping the teachers adjust to the new learning environment will present a challenge. And I do think that there will be some adjustments, but there's so much positive energy that surrounds our faculty that everyone is pulling in the same direction and very uh, engaged in teamwork and in professional development together. They're very positive. Our students are excited. So there's some adjustment even for wonderful, exciting things in our lives. But I think the positive energy that surrounds McCracken County High School will carry us very well as those adjustments are made. We have to make a big presence from a, from a high school staff into their school. So anytime that I can get in front of the FCA or the eighth grade class or wherever, I want to go so that they know and, and are familiar with their, with their new principal um, and any of our staff. And then we'll have events where they'll come over here and, and get used to the building. And, and be able to walk around so that when they are here, it's not the overwhelming feeling that, that people have had because it's their first time here. The more you're here, the more comfortable you are, the, the less the building seems um, you know, hard to navigate. It, you have a sense of, of, of just real comfort. Siglinski and Waldrop both have high hopes for the future of McCracken County High School. I hope that, that when they look back and they, they think about um, Wherever they've, wherever they've gone, whether that's the college or a job, and they talk about kid, and they, they talk with other people about their school experiences, that they can share what it was like to be a McCracken County High School student and, and the things that they had access to. And so I, I do hope that, that 10 years from now, they look back and, and, and they're able to feel a real sense of pride, community pride, about their school, that, uh, that being a Mustang was just as, just as important as it was being a Purple Flash or being a greyhound or a pirate, that, that, that that's something special to them that they'll hold on to forever. I mean, they're part of history. I think they'll be so grateful. Grateful for a community that truly values education, that pays for the opportunities for the, our students. I think that we will reap the reward. It will be a marvelous investment, not only for our students, but our entire community.